Hey, it's JC here at JC's Comics and More, your pop culture superstore at 6725 West Central Avenue. That is Toledo, Ohio, 436-174195316097. We do have, uh, this is Tuesday, New Comics Day, so we're doing some unboxing. You can see what this box here has a nice hole right there. And then over on this side here, you can see that nice tear there. So we'll see what kind of damages are in this box. Hopefully very little, if any at all, if I am lucky. And I take a look at this box on the inside and things certainly look, look better than expected. Because then again, actually the first glance. So you've got the variant covers to Heroes in Crisis. And my previous video, we had the regular covers to Heroes in Crisis, and I did read those, and we did find who killed Wally and the rest of them. Also, there was copies that were damaged on that, and to show you some of the quick damages that I did have, or a few were damaged, but these are printing damages, and you can see right there we had a copy damage. So certainly check your copy before you leave your comic shop tomorrow or Thursday or whenever you get your comics. And maybe let your comic shop owner know that, hey, did you realize that you might have copies damaged? But this is the variant cover uh, to Heroes in Crisis. And we will zoom out just a tad. So we can see that's a little bit better. There you go. Uh, very, very good. Really enjoyed Heroes of Crisis. I think it's probably one of the best books being published right now. And we'll see one of the other books being published, one of the other really great books being published next week in Doomsday Clock when that comes out. Doomsday Clock was supposed to be out this week, but unfortunately got pushed back to next week. So we'll have to wait and see how, how that turns out. Let's see. Got new issue of Zombie Tramp. And we've got uh, or that, uh, that blade. Got to cover up the goods because Marsha, Marsha, Marsha. <clears throat> see, we've got Just League Odyssey. We've got the variant cover by Terry Dotson with Cyborg on the front. Uh, I don't think that's very good uh, drawing a Cyborg. George Perez would probably give uh, Terry some lessons on how to draw a Cyborg. I, I give that very low marks. Terry Dotson is usually a very good artist, but that is a very poor representation of Cyborg. Very poor. Vic Stone deserves better than that. Here we've got the variant cover on Flash, number 59. Sort of a manga type Flash. And then also I think maybe a sort of a Throw back to Carmen Infantino a little bit. Here we've got the cosplay cover to Vampirilla and Deja Thoris. And looks very nice. That is a very nice looking cover there. Wonder Woman number 59. <clears throat> we've got Terry Dotson cover there. This is a very much... This is a much better Terry Dotson cover. I give him high marks for this one here. Give him two kudos of that. Uh, his Wonder Woman and his Ares looks very good. So I give him poor marks on the Justice League Odyssey. I give him high marks on the Wonder Woman cover. Let's see if we get the rest of this comics banged out pretty quickly. Got Marvel Action number one. This is the I believe the 1 in 10 variants. The other variant I showed you in the first video was a 1 in 25 variant. And as said before, that Marvel is now licensing out their characters to others. Got the new issue of Tarot, Witch of the Black Rose. This is the one of the two covers. Still 295. Jim Ballant is doing a hell of a job of keeping that 295. It's always been 295. And I've got one of the inside pages here. Uh, his artwork never fails to just to just to impress. 
And here's the other cover to Jim Balance, Witch of the Black Rose. I wish that they would put the logo up here, though. But Jim keeps the cost down. I applaud him for that. Thank you, Jim. Thanks for keeping the cost of these, uh, these comic books down for myself and for the customers. The new DC previews. We get to see what's going on with DC. Female Furies looks like they're getting their own miniseries. We've got the uncanny Philip Tan cover to Spider Gwen Ghost Spider. And that again has a almost has an Art Adams look to it. A little bit, maybe a little bit of uh, Mark Silvestri thrown in there as well. And I see the Fantastic Four Uncanny X-Men cover as well is in this is in this box. There's the rest of them. And Rogue really looks uh, looks really nice there. Let's see. This is a Tom Rainey cover on Fantastic Four number four on the uh, Uncanny X-Men cover. Now Storm, Storm looks looks a little offish. Her head, I'm not sure what's up. Tom is certainly better than this, but if you look, if you look at Storm, it's something doesn't seem uh, seem right there with her. Got Edgar Allan Poe's sniff sniffer of terror. That's a takeoff. I don't know if he's in Baltimore here. But let's take off uh, Attack of the 50-Foot Woman and uh, certainly a tribute to that great cover. Here we have the regular copy cover to Flash. Uh, I certainly prefer this cover to the variant cover, most certainly. I'm going to try to keep these a little bit shorter videos for you guys. See the new issue of Man Eaters. This book is not selling quite as well as, as Chelsea would hope that it would be selling. Got issue number two of Spider Girls. It's got one of Peter Parker's daughters on the front there. I see the cover B to the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Actually, the cover A. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles macro series, Leonardo. Got that there. Give you another look at it there. Got that gloss on that cover there, which makes it a little, little hard to see. Cover B to Red Sonia. And very, very, very nice. Very nice cover. Cover C to Paradise Court. Excellent looking cover on that one as well. Let's see if we get Action 105. Got the variant cover on this. The Superman showing up with a bunch of Christmas gifts for these for the children. And let's see we have the cosplay cover for Deja Thoris for Vampirella Deja Thoris. And she makes an excellent Deja Thoris as well. And then this Herberto Ramos cover for Ironheart for the Riri Williams book. Even though if you look the way the boot thrusters are, there's no way that she could be flying that way. Uh, but this is a much better cover than the other regular cover that was on Ironheart. Let's see, we got one of the regular covers of Sonic coming up. Let's see, we have Judge Dredd's Final Judgment number two as well. It's going to be in this stack. This is cover A of Sonic the Hedgehog, issue number 11. As stated before, we are going to be cutting back on our Sonics. Uh, we've got another one of the variant covers, the Zombie Tramp. We've got to cover up the good bits, because otherwise people might get offended, because they don't look at themselves in the mirror. And this almost looks like a Chaken cover. It almost looks like maybe a Rick Leonardi cover. 
Um, but it's not. It's uh, I believe it's uh, Sean uh, who did uh, Batman White Knight. So let's take a quick look here. Sean Murphy. And actually, it's not a bad Sean Murphy cover. But I did order more of the Josh Middleton covers. Here we got issue 11 of 12 of Hawkeye, uh, Old Man Hawkeye. So the series is winding up with the next issue. So we got another issue of Kiss. It's a photo cover with Gene. This is a cover D. And see, we have Fantastic Four, number four. We had three that just come out a few weeks ago. And Fantastics. So we're not sure who they're supposed to be. And then the next issue is supposed to be the wedding of Alicia and Ben Grimm. Which, ironically, would be, I think, issue 650 of Fantastic Four if they never broke up the numbering. So we'll see a big 650 on that as well. And here's cover A to Rick and Morty, number 44. Rick and Morty, uh, Dungeons and Dragons book, I think is going to be out in another couple weeks here. Uh, here's the regular covered up cover to Vamp Blade that uh, I can show the entire cover. So we have cover A to House Amok. Make sure that gets set aside for a customer. And we've got a variant cover, some variant covers. I think these are the Bilson Cabbage variant covers on Daredevil number 612 with him and Karen Page. So I guess it means old Hornhead is dead. Let's see, we have the 1 in 10 variant for Jim Balance, uh, Witch of the Black Rose. This is issue 113. Almost kind of reminds me of a Jim Steranko cover. And we've got the cover B's to Wonder Woman. That's a very nice looking cover there. I'm sure it's going to help sell this book even more so. As if it needed, uh, needed more to help sell this book, that's going to help perpetuate some more sales. So that's a hard one to pick between uh, the cover A and cover B because both are so nice. At Paradise Court. This is cover B. Very unique looking uh, cover there. We've got the Joe Jusco covers on, which is cover D to Vampirella and Dejathoris. Joe Jusco is a true master. And we've got the regular covers on Black Panther, issue number six. Unfortunately, Panther does not sell as well as one would hope that it would sell. Get the new issue of Black Betty. And we've got the regular covers to Detective Comics. We had the variant covers to Detective Comics earlier. There's the Fate of Two Face. Just in case I did not show you, I'm pretty sure I showed you, but here's the variant covers on Detective 693. Seven more issues, we hit issue 1000. So you've got your own blueprints where you can build your own bat bike now. through the rest of this box here rather quickly. Here's issue number two of Dread Final Judgment. Got one of the other covers to Vat Blade. We gotta cover everything up there, which is which is too bad. There we go. You get a chance to see a little bit more of that cover. Stranger Things, this is cover A. I think the only cover we're missing is maybe cover cover B. It's been a while since we've seen Stranger Things. Got a couple of variants on the Dead Man Logan. I think there's maybe one in ten variants there. Got an Uncanny X-Men. Uh, I've got Legion. This is the action figure variant. 
And here's the first issue of Spider-Man from IDW. This is a, a very like a kid-friendly book. So trying to capitalize on the new Spider-Man uh, animated movie that's out there. We're still looking for the Spider-Man J. Scott Campbell covers. We'll see where those are at. Got issue number nine of Grim Tales of Terror. And there's nothing to be scared of there. Well, him, I guess. And there we got Zombie Tramp. Got one of the other covers where she's looking for some nice, tasty brains to go with everything else. Got Titans. New issue of Titans with uh, Kyle Rayner. So I guess he's not going to be killed off in Heroes in Crisis yet. Maybe I think issue 70 gets killed off. But that's the variant cover on that. This, I believe, is the 1 in 25 Dead Man Logan variant. So we've got the regular copy to Batman Beyond. And Batman down here looks a lot like uh, Norm Bray Fogel Batman. And we've got Return of Wolverine, issue number three. So the regular covers. Again, this regular cover looks a lot like uh, Barry, Barry Smith. Barry, Barry Smith looking. It looks like that might be about the only thing left in this box here, even though I see a couple of other items at the bottom of the box. And then also point out, I did uh, discover that this was this was the one in ten variant, I believe, uh, of Ironheart that we did have as well. So the other only other book is cover B to Sonic number eleven. If you like these videos, certainly smash the bell for notifications and subscribe. Thanks for watching.